These young Senegalese women are breaking boundaries. They're developing coding and entrepreneurial skills to help them access a booming mobile technology movement dominated by men. Workshops organized by the tech community Jig and C Tick provide mentoring and support for their projects. Last year, 24-year-old Yuma Fell won a prize for her website, which allows teachers, parents and students to swap otherwise expensive school books. She's now developing it into a mobile phone application. I have two younger sisters and a younger brother. We are all two years apart, so we'd have books that weren't being used for a year, but had friends who needed them. So I thought, why can't we exchange them, then get them back? Today, being a young entrepreneur in Africa, it's very difficult. But you have to stay motivated and try and help the community around you. That way, you will always feel fulfilled. In Senegal, mobile phones are at the heart of online life. But few girls are choosing to study subjects that will help them tap into the tech industry. Over 94% of connections to the internet happen through mobile phones. There are more SIM cards in circulation in Senegal than there are population. This has a particular relevance as it concerns young women. There is a need in the framework of the Youth Mobile Initiative and also in the framework of the Jigginsi Tick community, which we have partnered with, to particularly promote these skills among young women, knowing that a lot of the entrepreneurs that happens in the region among young women is in the informal economy and technology holds lots of solutions in that regard for that market specifically. We need to make up for historical inequalities and put in place policies that will keep girls in school and encourage them to choose jobs in technology. Because we've seen a lot of potential among young girls and the mobile applications they've created, which deal with problems affecting us all in areas of environment, health and education. The program's organizers also want to show that tech innovation doesn't have to come from outside Senegal and that homegrown solutions can be developed to answer specific challenges faced by people who live here. In the future, I'd like to develop an app that would help school kids living in the suburbs with their transport to school so they could access buses more easily and pay in advance to reserve their seats. Jigen C. Tick organizes training opportunities across the country throughout the year, which culminate in a national competition. The three best projects are given financing. As part of efforts to move towards a digital future, the Senegalese government also has plans to integrate coding classes into the national curriculum. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Dakar, Senegal.